Once upon a time, there was a Babbage called Babbage? You lived in a magical land called Babbage Land. Oh, do you ever have a great idea for a story, but get into trouble with place and character names? Then programming a random story generator might be the solution. Today, you're going to combine your imagination and storytelling skills with coding and use Python to generate a random fairy tale. To write and test our Python code, we're going to use a Python programming environment, or IDE. Create a new project by clicking New. Let's start with a print function and type print, parentheses, quote, hello reader, quote, close parentheses, and save it as story time. Let's see what happens when we run this program. The message, hello reader, should appear in this section here called the REPL. Any errors in your program will appear as red text with a description. If you get an error, look over the code carefully to make sure everything is correct. Make sure to watch out for capital letters. Print with a lowercase p is not the same as print with an uppercase p. Check that your printed text is between a pair of quotation marks. Also, the print function expects the message to be enclosed between a pair of parentheses or brackets. If you get a bug in your code, click stop, fix it, and run it again by clicking run. Next, let's add an input function to prompt the reader to enter their name. Reader name equals input, open parentheses, quote, what is your name? Quote, close parentheses. Let's break this code down. Reader name equals creates a variable called reader name and assigns it a value. The input and brackets tell our program to use the input function. The quoted text between the brackets, what is your name, is the prompt which is outputted to the screen. You can then use print to output the reader's name. So type print, open parentheses, quote, hello, space, quote, plus reader name, close parentheses, and click run. First, it asks for my name. So I type in my answer, Sally, and press enter. The program then stores my name as a variable and prints it back to the screen. Print and input are two examples of what we call a function. Python has lots of different built-in functions, but each one performs a single task. Now you've mastered the basics, it's time for you to create your own random story generator. First, you need to create some lists of random words for your final story program. A list in Python looks like this. Names equals open square brackets, quote, Zara, quote, comma, space, quote, Ben, quote, comma, space, quote, Esme, quote, comma, space, quote, Andrew, quote, comma, space, quote, Aisha, quote, close square brackets. You can add as many names as you like between quotation marks and separated by commas inside the square brackets. Have a go at creating more lists for places, quests, and roles. Let your imagination run wild. Let's write some code that picks random items from each list to help you generate your story. At the top of your program, type import random to import the random module. Now, let's choose a random word from each of your lists using the choice function. At the bottom of your code, type random name equals random dot choice, open parentheses, names, close parentheses. Now you just need a story to insert them into. 
bring all the surprise elements together and be as creative as you like. Begin by creating a variable for a story. Story equals quote. Now you can type the start of your story. I'm going to begin mine with once upon a time there was a quote. Next, I want to generate a random role from the role list. Plus random role plus. Then return to typing the story by opening quotation marks again. Quote called quote the reader's name plus random name plus before writing more of the story. Continue like this until you've used up all of the random variables. There's one last line of code you need to write in order for your final story to appear on the screen. It was the first Python code you learned at the start of the video, the print function. Print, open parentheses, story, close parentheses. You may find that your program doesn't work first time, or there are some spaces missing between the words in the story. Don't worry, this happens a lot in computer programming. It's probably just due to a typing error. Working out where these errors or bugs are and fixing them is called debugging. Once you find any errors, simply fix them, save the file and run it again. Before long, you'll have your very own random story generator. In our next video, you'll learn how to write a Python program that responds to a physical button connected to a Raspberry Pi. See you next time. If there are any er errors, <laughs> if there are any errors in your program, that alarm will sound. It's the everything's okay alarm. Watch this is the alarm going off and carry on. <laughs> Rage. <laughs> okay, we can just take it from three. Okay. <laughs>